Good evening. Today we're going to talk about some of the Shure microphones. Uh, not to compare to say one is better than the other one because sometimes some of them serve various purposes. But we're going to start with the uh, Shure Beta. Uh, it's a microphone that's a super cardioid microphone. This is the case for it. And inside of the case, it's, it looks like a leather type of material, but it's not actually leather, but it's, it, it serves pretty well. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, oftentimes what I will do is I will use the plastic that comes with the microphone cases and the microphones. And I'll just put the mics in the plastic and then put them at that point inside the bag to ensure that they're protected and non scratch for the purposes I need. I don't need the mics to be scratched up. Now, today, with that being said, we'll start with the Sure Beta. Now the Shure Beta has a green type color. It has CDA Pro in here right now, but it has a green type color. And you'll always notice that on that microphone will always be this blue stripe. This is the Shure Beta 58. Uh, this microphone is called a super cordioid microphone. Now that means that it will pick up from various sides and also what that means is you can be sort of further away from the microphone and still be able to use it and it'll still pick you up also that means that uh, ambient noises it will pick that up as well uh, with that being said though this is a very bright microphone uh, many singers love to use this mic it's basically used for singing and I will sing a few bars of a of a song and let you hear it and see what you think and then you can compare the different sure microphones as I go along. Um, I'll just go ahead and start. Uh, let's see. Testing one, two, three. I will be using the my favorite little friend, the 207 Behringer uh, to, to test with the, these microphones with. I knew you when you were lonely. I knew you when you were only a boy all along without love. Sure. Beta 58. Remember the blue trim, you'll always know that it's a beta 58. Now the next one we're going to test or listen to is called the presidential mic. This mic is made somewhat differently. It's more narrow and it's not a super cordial microphone. It is a cordial microphone. That means most of the sound that comes from this microphone will always come from the tip the top. This mic is known as a presidential microphone because for many, many years and still, this microphone is used at the White House. And as you know, all Shure microphones are workhorses. All Shure microphones are very good microphones. All Shure microphones last for a very, very long time. Uh, so I'm going to plug this one in. This one not only is a microphone for speaking, it is a microphone for singing as well. Now you have to EQ it like you want it to be EQ'd to get the sound that you prefer. But it is a very good mic for singing and as well is used oftentimes uh, as a microphone for instruments. So you call it an, in it's an instrument microphone. It is a speaking microphone and as well it is a, uh, a vocal microphone. Uh, it does well in all various categories but you have to EQ it the way that you'd like for it to be. So I'm fixing to unplug this beta and plug in this uh, SM57. The SM57 has its own kind of bag, which all of the, the Sure microphones have this bag, unless it's a beta bag. It just says Sure on it, whereas the the Sure Beta says Sure Beta, so you'll know which bag you have your microphones in. Like with me, I have more than one Sure. I have various Sure microphones, so I always know where my Beta is located because the bag says Beta. Now, this microphone, as you notice, the top of it is different, and around the top of it, this rolls around. Uh, although it does that, it's not coming off by no means. 
It is a courtyard microphone. Uh, it's a great microphone. Now I'm going to sing a few bars. The same songs, the same song that I sung just previously, and let you hear the difference in the two sounds. Like I said, this one serves for various purposes. This one is known for singing. I knew you when you were lonely. I knew you when you were only a boy all along without love. Cordiard microphone. Super cordiard microphone. Moving right along. This is called the standard. The standard of all microphones. All the microphones are based on trying to compare themselves with this microphone. This microphone has not changed in a multitude of years since it came out, since its inception. This is the Shure SM58. The Shure SM58, they've known to have used it for hammers. You can drop it. All kinds of things can happen to this microphone, and it still takes a licking. However, do you see the difference in the ball of this SM58 and this Beta 58? This blue on it, this is clear. Now, the one thing that these two have in common, they're about the same size. But the one thing that this does do, now the body holds up quite well. But this little top here, which you can unscrew them on and off, uh, oftentimes when you do drop them, they dent easily. This top dents easily. So that's one reason why when you have your microphone, it is your instrument, your vocal instrument. You put it in your case because these will dent easily. Now you can replace these, however, they will not be exactly the same as they were before. Uh, you can't hardly replace this one with the same thing. You can replace it with one of these. And even if that, uh, it's still somewhat different. Unless you go to the manufacturer for uh, to, to replace that. Now, we're going to take a listen to the standard. Uh, like I said, everyone is trying to compare. And many microphones are coming out that sound a little bit better because they are, this one is a little nasally. It's a good microphone. It's a courtyard microphone. Uh where compared to this one, it's a super cordial microphone. But this one uh, is a standard. It sounds good. It is a little nasally, but it is a great microphone, and it's going to hold up as long as you're going to hold up. Now, let me try to unplug this mic over here and plug it into this one. Give me just a moment. Okay, here we are. We've plugged this one in. Okay, the Shure SM58. Um, I can say that you can use this as an instrument microphone because I've never done that before. But I can say that it's going to work for you time and time again. You're, called, you're hardly never going to have to take it to a shop, any of the Shure, because they are all well-built microphones. But I'm going to sing into this one as I have done with the other previous ones. I knew you when you were lonely. I knew you when you were only a boy all along without love. Now, let me say that this one, because it's a super quartet microphone, it's going to pick up a little brighter than this one because this is a courtyard microphone. This microphone that we previously looked at is a is a courtyard microphone. It is a the all-purpose microphone. But this one, you have to really cue it well, and it can do whatever you want it to do. This one, however, when you plug this one in, it's good to go uh, almost any on any setting. But this one will always be brighter than this one, and it's going to always be brighter than this one. But this one can be EQ to do whatever you want to. Now, the final sure line of microphones that I'm going to to uh, show you is this is a sure SM48. Now, this microphone during the Christmas holidays was very uh, 
entertaining. Uh, I was very skeptical about this because I never go below the SM58 and 57. But I wanted this to see what this microphone was like. Now, this microphone is often used for speaking. It is an excellent speaking mic, and it is a limited edition. That's why it's white. No other sure microphones are white. Let me get close, get, give you a closer look. That's the SM48. Can you see that? SM48. This is a beautiful microphone. Uh, but I was thoroughly surprised because now the ball on this microphone, the head ball, is a tad larger than the SM58 and it's a tad larger going upward than the Beta 58 but I found that this microphone unbelievably is a very good speaking microphone in fact I like the way that it sounds in speaking better than the SM57 and not only do I find it a good microphone for speaking, the clarity is excellent. Uh, it's wonderful for speakers. But what I also found was it is a very good mic to sing with. Uh, it is not as good. I, uh, I don't think it's good as the SM58 as far as the tonality. But I do believe that it is a very good smooth sounding mic. Uh, it's a little nasally, but it's very clear in speaking. Uh, it's very nice in singing. So I'm going to plug it up and let you hear it in speaking as well as in singing. Give me just one moment to uh, change out the cord. Okay, before I plug it in, I want you to just take a look at it. It's a sharp microphone. You know, I would use this microphone for any occasion, but I think I would really use it often for special occasions like weddings, uh, uh, certain types of concerts, especially like during the holidays and uh, Christmas. Uh, you can use it at any time. I would use it any time, but I'm just saying it's such a beautiful microphone because it's a limited edition that I would use it for various functions other than just the everyday norm. Now if I can retrieve my cord. <laughs> okay. Let me plug it in here. Oh, I did that pretty well. Okay, every Sure microphone has its own Sure logo. So when you receive your microphone, you'll receive the bag that it comes in, uh, and a box that it comes in. Uh, you, your whatever, like I said, if it's a beta, you'll receive a beta bag. If it's just a regular Sure, you'll you'll receive a Sure bag, a regular Sure bag. This one, the limited edition, comes in a regular Sure bag. Okay, now if you're interested in things like uh, foams and covers, you'll have to purchase those yourself. And you can find them at Guitar Center, Zounds, American Musical, anywhere that, that, that sells uh, musical instruments and PA equipment. Okay, I'm fixing to let you hear the sound of the, the speaking sound of this microphone. And then I will turn around and I will sing and let you hear the singing portion of this microphone. <laughs> Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. It is a beautiful day today. Testing one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to sing into the microphone. I knew you when you were lonely. I knew you when you were only a boy all along without love. Okay. So it sounds good. It's good for speaking. I've never seen anybody use it for an instrument microphone, uh, but it's good with speaking. It's wonderful with uh, singing. Uh, <clears throat> I believe that the Shure uh, SM58 is the microphone that's made directly for singing, but I would not hesitate in using this SM48 for singing. This one sort of is, is a little bit better to me that's that's personal for singing but this one does well with singing and excellent with speaking so here we have the sure sm58 beta always remember it has the blue 
surrounding the middle of the microphone. It costs a little bit more than any of these. It is a super cordial microphone. The SM57 is used as the presidential microphone. It's good for singing. It's made for speaking and is used and made for instruments, an instrument microphone, and it can be EQ to do whatever you need for it to do. And it's always a slimmer microphone with a little turning symbol. You'll always know it when you see that little symbol, low Z. This is the limited edition Shure SM48 microphone. It's used for speaking. It does a wonderful job in speaking, and it's very good for singing. This is the Workhorse, the Shure SM58, which is a cordial microphone. It's known for being the main microphone for entertainers, professional singers, for a long, long time. It does a wonderful job. It is an excellent microphone. It's a little nasally, but it does the job well, and you can drop it, and you can keep on going. But remember... These will bend. This will stay strong. This is, is a little bit different. Appears to be a little different type of material. However, I've dropped this one I don't know how many times. This one I try my best not to drop because I don't want to have to replace it. But, you know, I, from, from what I've read, that they all are excellent microphones as far as if you drop them, they'll take a lick and keep on a ticking. But this one right here is known as the mic. So... Uh, the next time we will, we'll, I'll review some more mics, they will be probably in the, uh, uh, probably will be digital microphones. But today, I want to focus in on the Shure microphones. I hope that you uh, enjoyed this uh, semi-review. Just really uh, an observation of what Shure microphones uh, that I have in my arsenal and see what you think of how they perform. They all have their purposes. They all do a wonderful job. And I thank you once again for spending some time with me reviewing, looking at, observing these microphones.